What's up YouTube? I got a short fun video for you guys today. So today I'm just playing with Picks to Picks and I'm going to show you guys the power of this tool. And if you don't know what Picks to Picks is, it's like Photoshop on steroids. You basically just tell the system what you want. You tell Stable Diffusion or whatever tool you use what you want and it'll just do it for you. Say I want flowers in the background and it'll give you flowers in the background. You say you want different color hair, it'll give you different color hair. So that's pretty amazing and I'm going to show you what this tool does. But I also have a full tutorial on how to install this in Stable Diffusion as well as the two other ways to use this and get started right now. Right now, I'm going to be using the Playground AI method, and it's pretty easy. You just get signed up and you can use this immediately. So if you watch this video, you'll learn how to use it that way. All right, first things first. So if you don't have an account yet, just go ahead and go here to the top right and click right here where you see this D. That's actually my profile, but you won't see a profile. You'll see sign up here. Just go ahead and click on that and then just sign up through your Google account and that's it. You don't got to fill out a form, just use your Gmail. And if you don't have a Gmail, like, <laughs> I don't know, what are you doing with your life, man? Get a Gmail, 2023. You should have got that in like 2000 or something or 1999. Anywho, this is a little bit off topic, but look at the pictures here, man. Like I, I every time I look at this site, I mean, people are making some really nice art here. Check out this Scarlett Johansson, just perfect. And then here's, here's another one. It seems like the cheat code here is this uh, Greg Rutowski. That seems to be like the, the the way you can make some really nice pictures. But so the thing about this site is you can make some really beautiful pictures, but it's not as easy as mid journey. So you're not going to be able to do this with just one or two words. So you're going to have to actually do a lot of things to get it to look as nice as these pictures right here. And sometimes these aren't always the actual prompts. Most of them are kind of re edits or remixes of another prompt. All right, I got sidetracked there for a second, but let's get back to the subject. So once you have an account and you confirmed whatever you had to do with Gmail, you can go up here to the top right and press create. And that's really all you have to do to get started. And now you're in the actual prompt creation place. So at the top left, you have the prompt where you can actually put things in and start creating your picture, whatever you want to do. And there's a negative prompt down here. If you click that radio button, you get the option to put negative prompts. So you can actually omit things that you don't want to see like blurriness or missing hands or three eyeballs or something crazy that, that, that sometimes happens with AI art. One thing to notice is here at the top right, you have the different models and, and it's really important for negative prompts in version 2.1. With 1.5, not so much, but I would add it anyways, just, you know, kind of eliminate that. And Dolly 2 is for paid versions, so sorry guys, can't use that. But um, back to the bottom left here, there's actually filters. So if you want a particular look here, like an oil painting or pixel art, you can actually do that. So let me try it right now. I'm going to type in elf female, and then I'm just going to choose a filter for pixel art and see what that looks like. So I took like three seconds to generate and it, it created what I wanted. It's a nice pixel art version of an elf, which is uh, pretty cool. Like I said, you have to put like a lot of like at least two sentences to get something really pretty. So just go ahead and look at other people's uh, prompts and what they're doing and, and try to mimic what they're doing. Not copy completely, but just try and see what is popular here. And down here, you got image to image. And then you got all the basic stable diffusion stuff here on the right side, the dimensions, the prompt guidance, which is you know how faithful do you want it to be to your prompt what you're typing in the quality and details uh, i think i would keep that under 50 if you go over 50 you go you have about 50 attempts before it tells you to get the paid version so just keep it under 50 you can do under 50 all you want with the steps or quality and detail which is basically the steps in stable diffusion then you have your seed so if you ever want to see that picture again save that seed so you can put it back in and then you could prompt more than one image at a time here at the bottom and then private session is for the paid version only but you can actually go into your gallery and just privatize your photos which is kind of cool i'll show you that later on but that's another cool thing about this it's like mid journey in the way that you have your own gallery and you can see other people's galleries so i really like that feature What's even cooler is that you can actually go in that gallery and start editing your photos, which Midjourney can't do. And you could also privatize your photo just by clicking a little lock button. All right, so let's mess with picks to picks. So up here at the top left, you'll see import image. Just go ahead and click on that and then choose the picture that you want, Peter. I'm gonna choose this picture right here and we're gonna mess with this and make it look nothing like what it looks like right now. I'm gonna show you the power of this tool and we're gonna do this real quickly. You're gonna be able to Photoshop better than most people out there just with this tool. All right, so I'm going to add the mask. So when you hover over the picture, you got the ability to get a mask and just make a big U shape over her head. Just it doesn't have to be perfect. And all right, so I covered her hair. Well, there's a little spot right there. So now I'm just going to type platinum blonde hair. 
and just wait and then see what that gives us. It normally takes from like five to six seconds, but right now it's prime times 10 to 11, but that's fast. It's actually fast in my computer. Let's just, oh, check it out. So th this is the results and you see the little black highlights and I don't know if it's a highlight, if it's black, but you, you, you know what I mean, right? So, I mean, it looks like hair. It looks pretty natural and I like it a lot. So, all right, we got that now. So let's do something else. Let's say click save changes and then you could work with this now. So click on edit again, the little pencil. Then we're going to add a mask around around her face and all her skin to change the color of her skin to something out of this world. So right there, it said it doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of smudge it over like the general area that you're trying to edit. So now I'm going to type dark elf high fantasy. I have to put skin. Let me try put skin, but uh, I'm going to click generate. And let's see what that gives us. Okay, we got a result and it's perfect. I mean, that's that's exactly what I think of when I think dark elf. I mean, this is like it's like that little bit of gray, that high fantasy kind of I don't know if any of you played like Lineage 2 or any other, like I think even WoW, the, the characters were kind of this grayish black color and it's perfect. It's exactly what I think of. And you could see the little differences in light on her skin where it's kind of supposed to be wet, where the light is hitting it. It's perfect. All right, so let's add one more thing to really make this a high fantasy picture. So let's do another mask. Go ahead and save that change and then click on edit again. Then add a mask around her clothes. Put it right here and here. Look how fast and then we're going to type in high fantasy elven armor and see what that gives us okay so we got our results in like under six seconds and it looks beautiful look at this and i've had better results in the past more detailed but it already looks exactly what it you know, I think elven armor should look like. So I'm going to try a few more details to see if I can get it to look even better. But all right, so I just added two words to it, intricate details and bronze, and it came out perfect. Check it out. So you look at this and uh, it just did it in seconds. And you, if you had to do this in Photoshop by yourself, even if you knew what you were doing, it would take you a very long time. It would take you an hour. I know some people are saying, oh no, I could do it in less time, but you got to think about this is not easy to get the color of the skin and keep the flaws in here as well. Well, and there's also like a two tone here with the grayish kind of dark, darker colors. And then also right here on the shoulder, you can see the lighting is kind of shining off like her skin is wet. I mean, it's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted and exactly what I was thinking of. And it, the AI did it for me in seconds and it even colored her eyes like in a cool color, like a dark elf kind of thing. All right, so let's compare the dark elf picture with the original picture. And you see here, it's it's pretty much perfect to me. So you have the blonde hair that was done just right. And then you have the skin and it colored the eyes and the lips at the same time. Something that looks very high fantasy dark elf. And it kept the, the little flaws and details in it gave that tone difference because of the lighting that comes down and the sheen on her skin, as well as, you know, the different curves in her, like right here on her neck and her collarbone. It, it created different colors, pretty amazing. And then the armor itself is pretty detailed and pretty intricate as I asked for. And that's pretty amazing, right? So now let's go back down to the original and you can see entirely different. You could barely recognize that photo. It's, well, it's pretty amazing. And I did that pretty quick and I could do that in 30 seconds. The only reason it took a lot longer was because I was explaining things, but it's look, you saw how easy it was. So you should go try it out and see how easy it is for yourself because it's pretty amazing. What I really like about Playground AI is they build in that community aspect just like mid journey you have your own profile and you can go in here and look at your photos and people can look at your photos as well and then you also have your likes here of all the things that you favorited and you can see that at any time just like you can do in mid journey and also if you click at the top left here way top left the playground logo you can actually see the most recent community photos that have the most likes so you can see in here you can also see what they use for the prompt which uh, i'm going to warn you guys right now a lot of these prompts are kind of hidden and there's a way of kind of messing up your prompt or hiding it from other people. All right, so let's explore some of the other features and also work on another picture, but let's use my profile this time. Uh, find one of the pictures there. So I got some pictures in here. I, I, I kind of see some of the work I've been doing here. Mostly Emma Watson. Let's mess with this one real quick. Just click on it. And one cool thing to point out here is if you go here, you can copy a link to share it with some other person or you can click on this to make your photo private. So I'm going to make this private just by clicking on that button. And you could also upscale it by four times here. You could remix it. You can edit it. You could bring it into image to image or you can do like the edits that we are doing, uh, which we're about to do right now. And you can see similar photos to your photo. So I'm going to click on edit. We're going to mess with this one right now. Okay, so the first 
first thing I'm going to do is remove that necklace. So I'm going to click on add mask and just, just do a real quick mask around where that necklace is. Then I'm going to type in bare skin and that should remove the necklace. It really depends on what's underneath the object that you're actually trying to remove. So that's what you're going to actually type. So I'm going to save that change. I'm going to make another one to our hair. So I'm actually going to just kind of do another mask, click on the little pencil button for edit and then add a mask. And then I'm just going to color in your hair. And then I'm going to type in, let's see here, maybe draw very blonde and curly. Let's try that out. Right. That looks kind of funny. She looks like Annie from uh, uh, the movie Annie a long time ago. But uh, I, I don't want that. It's But it looks, it's cool. It shows the power of it, but I'm not going to keep that. So I'm actually going to change it a different color. I'm going to just edit again and put the mask. This time I'm just going to put strawberry blonde just to give it a drastic change from what it is. Cool. That looks perfect. So uh, that didn't take long at all. That took like eight seconds and check it out. It looks pretty natural. And so we're going to try something else now. All right, so now we got our new picture. And when you get a new picture and you hover over it, you got an actions button here at the top right. So you can actually click on that and get a few more things you can do with it. So you can edit it like we just did now. You can copy the link and give this picture to somebody else. You can also click on this to make it private so nobody can mess with it. Download it and paint on it. You can use it for image to image. You can also create variants of it and do face test restoration, which you might need a little bit here on the eye, the left eye specifically. Upscale four times and also can delete it if you wanted to it's terrible and all you can also access the edit button right here at the top left where the pencil is which i'm going to do cool let's make another edit to this so i'm going to actually add another mask and just color over the dress and i'm going to put something in the prompt i'm going to put black armani dress and let's see what that gives us as you can see it nicely added the black dress it looks pretty amazing looks natural but <laughs> it also added some enhancements too if you noticed uh, some of you might might have not noticed but now's probably a good time to point out that there's prompt guidance here and you can increase the scale on this so it listens more to your prompt rather than getting creative so you only have to raise this just a little bit like 0.25 to 0.5 to really get a difference in the look of what you're asking for another thing i like to point out is where it says remove from image. So there's actually a negative filter. So you could put anything you don't want to see in your pictures in here. You can put disfigured, you can put uh, NSFW, you can put blurry, you can put that on here. And that this is required for version 2.1. So if you select version 2.1 at the top here, if you know anything about 2.1 you really need the negative prompts it's, and that's probably why you're going to see a lot of version 1.5 pictures rather than 2.1. All right, so that's all I have. So this was just going to be a short video, just me playing around with the tool Pix to Pix in Playground AI. And just to show you Playground AI one more time, because I love this site. It's pretty damn awesome. And go in there today and create a thousand images per day. And what is this on her mouth? Anyways, go in there and create a thousand images per day. And they create some pretty good art here. So try it out today and yeah, sign up. So as always, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thank you for watching and as always, sayonara, aloha, hafa day, adios, zaijian, aldita, anyang, pa al lam, and please come again. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on hall Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can kneel all But how much time till we fall It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away So I can be so far from it I wanna find a place Where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself In something that is bottomless Take me back to a place Where I felt at home Take me back to a day When we weren't alone Take me back to an age When the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small 
way back Let's Before go. we blew it all I know the things seem bad But they could be much worse There's always someone else Who has a greater curse A greater thirst A hunger, pain, and mercy Just find whatever you got And try to be thankful first I wanna feel again I need a couple friends I never really understood Just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense Don't know the consequence The volatility of life My only confidence Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I don't wanna be a part of it Funky he is. I'm hot, and you're not. But if you want to hang with me, I'll give it one shot. Time.